Welcome to our Wednesday prayer time. As we have entered into this new experience of being in parking lot worship on Sunday mornings, we recognize that there's not quite the same reverence in that space as there might be in our sanctuary. And so because we are a people of prayer, we want to take a time each Wednesday to lift up the prayers of the people, to hold that prayerful space. If you have a prayer that you would like shared with our pastors, staff, and prayer team, go ahead and email prayer at arvadaumc.org. We hold those prayers each week as a body for one another, knowing that we are in prayer together. This week, as we get ready to head into Labor Day weekend, we lift up this prayer to honor all those who work and labor for God's great creation every day. Let us join in a time of prayer. of the rough worn hands. As we honor workers this week, let us not forget those whose work is undermined or overlooked. Those homemakers who watch over children and homes but are not recognized as workers because they are not paid. Those who are forced out of jobs by corporate changes or COVID-19. Those forced into early retirement. Those who are denied employment because of their age those who live far from home, struggling to save a bit of money to send to their loved ones, those who must work illegally in order to survive, those who lose their jobs because employers use undocumented labor. Christ of the aching back, you worked the rough wood, you walked the long and dusty roads, you know the bitter thirst of the poor. Let our thirst become a passion for justice. Help us to work towards transformation of economic policies that allow only a few nations to hoard the world's wealth. Policies that pay women only half a person or less. Policies that do not recognize the worth of labor exactly without pay. Spirit of creative power, move among us this day. Heal the wounds we carry because of jobs we hate but must do. Jobs we want but cannot have. Heal all those who labor to survive. Renew in us our sense of vocation. Help us discern your presence in even the lowliest of tasks we face. It is in you that we find rest, that we rekindle our passion for justice. In you we reunite the love in our hearts with a deep love for our neighbor. In you we are reminded to stop and seek your still small voice calling out to us. We find comfort in your words and your actions among us.
Let us pray together the prayer that your Son, Jesus, taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Christ Jesus has called us with new work to do, that we through our serving may glorify you. Each person's vocation, each calling has worth, as you send us out to bring Christ's